Hey guys, so this video is um, a video about a Goldie jeans. Um, I thought I'd shoot this video just because um, some of you might have questions about this brand. This brand has really blown up over the past couple of years um, because of their 90s style jeans and their crisscross jeans, which I feel like kind of really broke the internet a little bit uh, with denim. All the I felt like everyone on social media was wearing um, this brand so I decided to venture out into it and it's become one of my favorites now so um, there's two styles or two cuts from their uh, line that really work well for me and my body type I have more of an athletic build I have like bigger thighs and compared to my waist but I'm not like an hourglass I'm more like straight up and down but just like thick thighs from like track and field hockey and weightlifting and all the stuff so it's just my legs are big and so uh, when it comes to this brand it's important to know kind of like what styles might be suit uh certain body types so for my specific body type i find that the 90s jean and the crisscross jeans really really work well for me um just because i'm able to get them to cinch me at my waist but then i still have room in the legs um and i find that the length is really great it works really well with sandals and sneakers and boots i mean you can wear it with all types of things i'm a five four or if like anywhere from five three and three quarters to five four depending on how straight i sit up and uh stand <laughs> Um, so I find that these jeans work really well for me. They come like right down to like my ankles. So if you're taller than me, um, keep that in mind. I think their inseam is around like 30 or so. It's not super long. So if you're a taller person, keep that in mind as well. So, um, I thought I'd break down like, I guess the jeans I have from them. So the first pair I ever got was the crisscross jean, which is probably my most worn. Like these are worn in. I wear them like all the time. They're my go-to jeans. And they have this like crisscross button fly, which is super unique, that button fly, which I love. And it's a nice light blue wash. I used to stay away from jeans this light because I used to be so self-conscious of my legs. I thought that anything light wash would make me look bigger. But I don't know, there's something about this that I just find it really flattering. I think that it's just so comfortable. They're not super thick or super stiff. Like these break in really well. Um, so I just really, really love these jeans and the crisscross jeans tend to be wider in the leg than the nineties jeans. So if you are curvier and you do have thicker thighs, I think you're really going to like the crisscross jean. So one of my newest pairs is the white crisscross jean. I got these from shop Bob, like back in March or something, but obviously like with lockdown, nowhere to go. I haven't actually worn them out yet because the only place I ever go besides work is a grocery store. <laughs> I'm about to bust these out of the grocery store. I'm just afraid I'm going to stain them. Um, so it's this white pair and silver buttons. And then the thread is like a gold thread um, for the seams, which is interesting online when i saw the picture of this jean when they first released like their spring summer lookbook um back in january or so you couldn't tell that it had like a golden thread um so it's an interesting it's interesting um i kind of wish it was just like a white thread or something so that it all kind of was seamless um in the color but it still is really cute i find that the white is like not as soft as the blue but then again I did just get these jeans and I haven't like fully broken them in. So that could be why it doesn't feel as soft. Um, and because of that, they haven't like stretched out either. So when I do the try on, it's going to look like the blue jeans are a lot bigger. But I think it's just because I've worn them so many times, like a million times. So they're a little bit more stretched out and worn in. Whereas these are brand new. So they're not really, they haven't conformed to my body as much. Um, now the next uh, style is the 90s jean. So the 90s jean um, is called like a mid-rise jean on the website, but they fit high rise. The inseam is like 12 inches or more than a little over 12 inches. So for me, I they work as high waist. I think if you order them in like a bigger size, you can wear them a bit more slouchy and that's kind of where the mid-rise um, like title comes from. So I really like these 90s jeans. They just um, look really, really good. 
um, and they do give that 90s effect. They're not as wide as the crisscross. They just go straight down the whole way. And these ones just have distressing here right on the thigh. I love it. A nice like button fly. This, like I said, is over 12 inches. And because of the way I wear mine, they fit me high-waisted instead of mid-rise. So that's my black pair. Then I have a blue pair as well that has copper buttons. This one does not have any distressing. Just a little bit of fading on the thigh. And again, and these ones I got in a 25. And then my newest pair are these white ones, which I got from Nordstrom, but I haven't worn them out yet. And this is like more of an off-white cream with silver button fly. And then these ones I got a 25 as well. And I really like them. And like I said, I don't normally wear light jeans, white jeans. I don't know why I bought two pairs of white jeans. But I figured um, I'm probably going to stain one of them and destroy one of them by accident. So I have a backup white pair. And one is technically off-white. You know what I mean? It's more ivory. <laughs> and then the last A Goldie bottom that I have. Um, are these shorts. These are the D shorts, which I haven't worn yet either because, you know, I haven't been going anywhere. But these ones I want to break in, so I'm probably going to wear them soon now that things are, like, slowly opening up. I can wear these on a grocery run. Um, but it has, like, a little distressing over the thigh, and the side has a little split there, which is nice. These are also button fly with black buttons, which I really like. So it's just a little really seamless, uh, streamlined look. Um, I really like those shorts. I got them in, what size did I get in these? A 26, and these definitely run tighter. Um, I feel like the D shorts run tight. And I thought that they would fit like the 90s. So I thought the 26 would actually be kind of slouchy on me, but they're not. Like, they are tight. But So I definitely need to wear these around and stretch them out some more. But yeah, that's my A Goldie collection. So in the crisscross jeans, I wear 25. In the 90s, I'll wear 25 to 26, depending on the fit I want. And then the shorts I have in 26, but I could have probably gone to a 27 in those to be more comfortable. And I feel like those, um, when you see the try on and see what my body's like, you'll kind of see why I chose these fits. I have tried um, the Riley, and the Riley jean just didn't fit my thighs. <laughs> you know, like I felt that I could not get the right fit for my thigh and waist if I got the ones that like fit in my leg they were super super baggy in my waist and I really wanted to like the Rileys I think they look great on a lot of girls I've seen um, but I felt like for my body type it really the 90s and the crisscross really work and it's such a great casual look it's easy to dress up or dress down um, the crisscross was like, like those blue jeans are my absolute favorite I wear them literally like every day and yeah